Open the door. Hi, my name is Teemu Karjalainen and I'm presenting you uh, WaveMid transcription software. You start off by importing some audio. We choose to have a separate red tracks for the stereo channels, so we have a stereo recording. The first thing that is useful when transcribing audio is naturally slowing the audio down. And we can do that without affecting the pitch. So here's the original. Now we can slow it down. We can also change it real time as we please. Yeah, we have a pretty nice time stretcher algorithm that is developed by Mikko Roininen. And next thing I'm going to show you is how easy transcription can be. We do fully automatic transcription for this piece. <clears throat> we just select meter analysis, chord analysis, baseline and melody analysis and then we wait for a while. The analysis takes approximately like quarter of the duration of the actual piece. And it looks like we're done here. Here we have bass line on the topmost track. Here we can see track controls, mute button, solo button, minimize button, velocity button, instrument selection. Here we can select from a couple of possibilities and MIDI channel and visualization control where you can determine the visualization to the track but we come to that later on the second track we have chords and we can see the chord symbols here at the top and on the lowest track we have melody and they're all automatically analyzed from the piece so let's take a listen Put follow on, so it will follow. Yeah. The automatic transcription is okay for easier stuff that there is not that many uh, instruments at the same time and we don't have distorted guitars and stuff like that but now we go to a harder example we have some metal here As we see from the waveform, it's really there's no dynamics, and to a machine ear, it's pretty much noise. But we have this Fandavis algorithm that allows us to visualize the pitch content of audio. So we do that. So the color in 
any place here represents the probability of that place containing a node. So here for sure is the first note, it's long guitar slide. We put follow on, so the sequencer will follow. If we would like to start transcribing, we would just draw here a MIDI segment and draw the individual notes here. Yeah, so we heard those four notes. On this last example I show what the meter analysis does. So meter analysis is trying to find the <coughs> time structure of the piece in a sense that it finds bar positions, beat positions and the tatum pulse which is the densest time grid that can be found in the song. So, we have a three minute song here, so it might take a while. Yeah. This algorithm is done by Ansi Klapuri. You can find his publications if you Google them. It's a really complicated method that is based on oscillator banks. Okay, now if we look at the ruler, we can have automatic meter, meter here. So the longest streaks here are bar estimates and the shorter beats are shorter lines are beats and the shortest lines are tatum so if we generate a midi track here <coughs> you need that now uh, we see that the grid we have here in the midi track is the same grid that is delivered by this meter analysis and if we enable this snap function here and start drawing notes they will be quantized to this meter grid as well as all the operations we do here so it saves time a lot because the transcriber doesn't have to fine-tune each note by millisecond accuracy. You can have some sort of grid there automatically. <coughs> yeah, that's about it.